Now we're going to work with correlation and regression. So I'm using a data set from Chapter 9, specifically data set 9.1, Exercise 21, which gives us ages and systolic blood pressures for several patients. We'd like to see if age helps to predict blood pressure. Let's begin with a scatter plot. So we can go to Graphics, Scatter Plot, and age would be our x variable since it's the explanatory, and y would be our systolic blood pressure since it's um, our response variable, and click Create Graph. And so here we get a scatter plot of age versus systolic blood pressure, and it does look linear, so we may want to move forward with some analysis on this. So let's see how to do that. We'll be going back to the stat menu, and in this case we'll be using regression, simple linear. Choose your x variable, again age, choose your y variable which will be systolic blood pressure for us, and click next. This will run our hypothesis test for us, the one that we're, we'll look at that's close to the correlation test that you saw in the videos for this section will be the slope test. Then click Next. You can predict some values here from the regression line if you would like. Click Next. You can ask it to plot the fitted line for us, so I'm going to ask it to plot the line on the scatter plot. Click Next. And here you can change any color schemes if you'd like, but we won't mess with this. And click Calculate. And now we have a two-part output here. First of all, we have a bunch of information up here. Number one, it gives us the regression line. Systolic blood pressure equals 80.26 plus 1.71 times age. That's our regression line. It also gives us our correlation coefficient, or R, which is 0 0.9084, which we know is a strong positive correlation. Here again, it gives us the parameter estimates for the regression line, and then it gives us some tests. Here's our test for the slope, or to see if this has a correlation. And here our p-value is small enough to say that it does. We're testing here that the slope is zero versus that the slope is not zero, which tests to see if there is a correlation or there is not. So here our p-value is 0 0.003. There is a correlation then between these. The slope is not zero. In order to see the scatter plot, we can click Next. And here is our scatter plot with the line fitted on it. So you can see exactly how the line looks with the data. There's also another way to find the correlation and to produce a correlation test. So what we can do to simply find the correlation and produce a p-value for a test for correlation is to go to Stat, Summary Stats, Correlation. Select the two columns that you want to find a correlation for and click Next. Ask for the two-sided p-value from significance test, so check this box, and click Calculate. And you'll be given the correlation, 0 0.908, and in parentheses, you'll be given the p-value from the correlation test, so 0 0.0003, which notice was the same as the slope test as I mentioned before. But if you just want those two pieces of information, this is a nice easy way to get it as well.